I'm Doug Frankel. I direct the Mediation Clinic at the uh, Gittes Center. Mediation Clinic uh, began in 1986. It was one of the first courses of its kind in the country. Uh, it's uh, a course that's offered every semester. What this course focuses on, uh, and no other course in the curriculum does, is uh, placing the students in a neutral stance. Uh, they have to look at legal problems from a dispassionate, uh, somewhat removed perspective in order to assess it objectively. And that's a skill uh, that most great lawyers would tell you is what uh, separates them from ordinary lawyers uh, and what causes clients to want to hire them, the ability uh, to, to assess a perspective or a case dispassionately, a problem dispassionately, uh, and then uh, obviously provide expert representation. Uh, the skills that students are immersed in uh, involve about 30 hours of very intensive training uh, in uh, communication skills, uh, negotiation facilitation skills, uh, creative problem solving abilities, uh, harnessing of difficult emotions, agreement drafting, all of the component, component or constituent skills uh, of the neutral whose, uh, whose aim is to try to foster a resolution between two people in a conflict. The cases that we're involved in are, are overwhelmingly, not exclusively, uh, cases in which parties have uh, found themselves in disputes but no access to lawyers. Uh, the, the mediators, in this case the students who are conducting the mediation under the faculty supervision, uh, are in most of these situations the closest thing that the parties will have to uh, legal professionals in their case. The kinds of cases the students are involved in are, are varied. Each student does four to five cases each semester. And the cases uh, vary from civil litigation cases to family court child custody disputes, uh, from private criminal cases to employment discrimination matters at the EEOC. And in recent years, we've had uh, some cases that are done through technology involving the international abduction of children. Uh, and uh, those have proven fascinating uh, experiences for students in actual international family law. Our relationships are with local courts. Uh, in Philadelphia, uh, with um, uh, the federal EEOC, with the State Department in Washington that refers to cases of uh, international child abduction, and we occasionally do cases on campus, uh, campus disciplinary matters and other, uh, other scenarios in which uh, students are involved in, in disputes uh, that they can't resolve without outside help. 